what is diversity as a filter for understanding of information, okay? So diversity is described in an interesting way uh, by the book. And here's what they say about diversity. First things first, it is a broad range of human characteristics. It's a broad range of human characteristics. So diversity, a broad range of human characteristics. What's the broad range of human characteristics? You know, that's a bunch of hooey for saying it's a bunch of different people, but they're working together to accomplish one goal. But I want you to know what the book is saying about diversity. It is a bunch of different people with different mindsets, with different opinions, but they're all working together to achieve one goal. Unfortunately, it is not always true. And the book concludes with a definition that's a little bit, uh, with a few words which are a little bit uh, difficult. It's a broad range of human characteristics that affect the workplace. You know, the effect could be positive, the effect could be negative. It is the job of the supervisors, it is the job of the manager to unify the people. Okay, diversity is great as long as there is unity. But, the def and that's why I'm saying that it's a filter, that everybody filters this particular information through different lenses. And there's so many different characteristics or character traits of people which really influence you about what you think, what you say, what you, how you interpret the information. It's, um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, let's move on. Does this make sense? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, Steve. Very good. Just remember what I said, stereotype diversity more than likely will be on the exam. Okay? And these are the definitions that you will see. Okay. Uh, here's another word that's good. Attitude. What the heck is an attitude? Okay, we always say, don't give me an attitude. Okay, what does it mean? Well, don't give me the, parents, the person's attitude can be pleasant, it, it can be bad. So, yeah. um, like, uh, let's say... Um, I'm working at Subway and you're one of my customers. Yeah. When you come in, I can welcome you with a smile. Yeah. Or I can be giving you attitude. Okay. So, so uh, expand more on that. I, I, I really want to know. So let's say you're giving me a, let's say, a negative attitude. Um, like, what is that going to accomplish? Um, well, we would be losing customers for that. You would leave instead of coming back. Uh, you know, that's perfect. But if you welcome somebody with a smile. Yes. That the person is crazy. I, you would bring uh, that the person with you. is crazy. A smile is going to, your attitude of positivity is going to retain or provide with another set of positive sensations coming from another person. Yes. 
Okay, great. Oh, I love that. So that's that's in reality what we just experienced here is exactly what the book is trying to say when they talk about what an attitude is. So attitude could be positive or negative, but yes. based on that, you will receive in return that which you projected forward. Yes. So if you project negativity, you will you almost always get negativity back. So it's something that's predictable, right? Yes. Yes. So if you greet somebody with a smile, chances are, unless the person is a psycho, yep. <laughs> they're going to smile right back at you. Yes. So, you know, that's one of the real ways to determine who is a psychopath or a sociopath. If you smile at them and they get back, what the, what the bleep are you smiling at? <laughs> okay. Now, that person has some deep emotional problems. I would keep my finger on the button you know, to call the cops. Okay, because that's not going anyplace else. Okay, yeah. but a predictable response to a smile will be another smile. Yes. No matter how bad the person is feeling, if you give them a smile and you give them a warm, emotional, you know, well, greeting, you a make person, a person. So, very good. So, we're stumbled up to something. So, it's the person's emotions. Or willingness to do something that generate a predictable response. So if I smile, I can predict that another person is going to smile, right? It, like I said, it depends. Not everybody is going to react just because you give them a welcome and environment and that they're going to say, well, I'm going to give you attitude back. But let's say if you measure it with how many people out of 10 customers you give them a good greeting do you expect usually a something positive in response yes that yes. one i can positively say yes because right. I, the reason i use that example is because i used to work at subway but you know we we all used to work in some form of subway <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know we all started out somewhere <laughs> you know so again the predictable response from a normal person will be positive to positive, negative to negative. Yes. That's how we are wired. So attitude is defined in a book, and this is the reason why I spent all this time because it's hard to decipher what you know what they write over there. Okay. Attitude is a, a person's emotions or willingness that elicit a predictable response. Okay. So I'll write that down. But you have an understanding and you can watch this on, on, on video, okay? So a person's emotions or willingness or really unwillingness, okay, that elicit, and the word elicit means bring about a predictable response. That's what an attitude is. According to the book,